Hey, this is John Young. When you are out looking to make a hole through a wall or through a shower surround or when you're doing some installs, a hole saw is what you need. And I've got two different ones here. I've got the hole dozer. This is a, these are both Milwaukee sets. This is the hole dozer. This is a bi-metal where it's, it's designed for kind of light duty to go through wood, sheetrock, a few things such as that. It doesn't go into concrete. It doesn't go into, it doesn't handle nails very well. It screws, doesn't do that. But this is kind of the, the, the best for most people set. Um, a couple of them aren't here because this is the set that I've had for quite a long time and I've broken. Uh, what happens is that as you use a couple of them, you end up uh, getting the, the teeth get kind of chinked when you hit things and they, they wear out and they have problems. What's kind of neat about this and why I like this set is that it has some little clean outs. So when you start cutting and you're cutting this is just like any saw. It's like just like a saw blade going around is that there's sawdust. And these little fluted shoots help clean some of that sawdust out. So it makes it so you're a little more efficient when you're you're doing your drilling. But the kit, this is a 15 piece kit and it comes with a variety of different uh, sizes that you're seeing here. And what you basically have is, if you're new to that, you, you have your little center, your little drill, drill bit here that will give you the center of your hole. So you want a hole right here, right here on your project. You will put your X and then you use this to kind of be your pilot. And then you have this. Occasionally, if you're going through a thin material, which we did in a different video, you can have a little problem with it walking. You get through and it just, so we, there's ways around that. But that's that was a different video. So this is the whole dozer set here, 15 piece set, and I'll put a link in the description below. Good for most. This is my first Milwaukee uh, saw, hole saw kit. I've had a couple of cheaper ones and I've literally burned through all of them over time. You can see in here, this is one, the two and a half I've used, and this is how it looks after it being used. This was used, I'm just going to say off the top of my head, for a dozen holes, going through a variety of different things. So you get an idea of what it's like. Now, if you want to step up, let's go to the other side here. Next, we'll come over here and take a look at this one. This is the Big Hog. The Big Hog, there we go, show that. Big Hog from Milwaukee. Carbide tipped on this one. You'll see that this particular set has many larger sizes. It has uh, the largest one is four and a quarter. This is really meant for people who are contractors and such who are going to be your plumbers who are going to be going through because you've got the carbide tip the carbide is going to give me a a longer run time they say up to 50 times a longer run time or use before you have to get this you can get this sharpened yeah this is going to give you more it's going to carbide is going to allow you to hit a couple of nails and it's going to be a little forgiving compared to the bi-metal once you hit a nail you're kind of done um well you can burn your way through and you you literally are burning your way through You've got some nice cleanouts here. The little fluted area is a little bit different on this one, but you're still going to be able to get that sawdust kicked out. And you can see we've got three carbide teeth. We're actually going to take these and do another video uh, demonstrating the cutting speed between the two. Try to get two of them about the same size and see how that goes. So the question is, which one do you want? Again, the pricing is about $100, uh, under $100. And this is pushing probably $150 to $200 on these larger, getting into the carbide teeth version. It really depends on, on what you're doing. If you want to get one set and you want to have one set that you'll never have to uh, worry about, I would probably spend the money and go with the carbide. Get a variety of sizes. To get the small to the large, you're probably going to be looking at three to $400 but it's going to be having buying once, having the pain once. If you're just a homeowner doing something you want to pop holes through, the bimetal are great. There's also one step down, which I do not have, which is just straight a straight steel one. It'll work for making one hole. If you need to make one hole, you can go buy the cheap one, make the one hole, and then in essence, throw it away. That's possible. Now, if you want something that's going to be with you for a while, Thinking, looking at the carbide versions of hole saws might be the way to go. Again, we're going to be doing some demo videos to demonstrate how these cut, the different speed and, and such with that, and you can look for that on our channel. For more tips and how-to videos, go to weekendhandyman.com.